Hello, welcome to a very curious place. <clears throat> I am trying my hand at vlogging. And uh, I don't know, you know, I hear people all the time, they say we just, they do so well at vlogging. I mean, there's one guy that he has an entire channel that's just vlogging. At all, that's all it is. He is, and it's, I've told you all about him. He was our very first YouTuber of the month, um, Peter Mon. He has one channel of his that is just all vlogs. And he vlogs every day. And I'm just like, <clears throat> I don't know if anybody would want me to hear me talk every day. You know, I don't even talk normally every day. I mean, except to, you know, I talk to the cats and the dogs. And sometimes, you know, I'm just like, if I didn't live with them, then I wouldn't talk at all. So, you know, it's like, <laughs> um, there have been days when, you know, I've gone an entire day without talking to anybody except the cats and the dogs, you know, and even then they're just like, whatever, you know, so, but I don't know, I just thought I'd give my, give, give this a try, give the, the whole vlogging thing a try, <clears throat> see how it goes, and, you know, I don't know, life right now is kind of crazy, I'm trying to transition over from working a full-time job that I just, I couldn't physically handle anymore to trying to find something else to do. And I'm, I'm like between like Uber and, uh, you know, um, this, uh, telecommuting site where I, I will work from home doing like, you know, data entry, customer service, things like that. So, you know, <clears throat> so it's kind of a, between those two and I'm also want to start selling things so getting onto uh, like eBay selling things because you know what if nothing else I've got to clean out the house because I have got like things coming out my ears it is so crazy I've got one bedroom it's the bedroom I want to turn into like an office slash studio it is packed to the gills with boxes boxes upon boxes upon boxes and I'm just like geez Louise I, some of this has got to go it's just there's no other option some of it has to go because I'm just like um there's no other place to put it so you know it's either got to go into the trash or it's got to get sold some of it I'm going to keep but the amount I want to keep is so small in comparison to the amount that I just want gone that it's not even funny and I just I was telling my sister today when she called she called to check on me because I've been sick everybody's been calling to check on me are you still alive it's like yes I'm still alive and uh <clears throat> I told she said what are you doing and I said I'm trying to get motivated to get up and do something <laughs> keep in mind this is like at 11 a.m <laughs> so I'm just like you know beyond you know checking the email and doing things like that I need to actually move from this location and get up and do things and <clears throat> I said I'm just I'm not feeling it I just I don't know you know it's and I guess it's because I've been sick and I'm just like mm. I'm just kind of like yeah and I don't really I don't really feel like doing anything much and <clears throat> so I don't know. I did eventually get up and get something done. It wasn't really major stuff. I got up and um, I got up and I, you know, fed and watered all the animals. And, you know, again, because, you know, my cats are under the firm impression. And I think all cats are. They, they get under the firm impression that if you can see the bottom of the bowl, it's empty and they're going to starve to death. And my one cat, because I have to put their food up on a countertop, um, <laughs> because my dogs have a love for cat food, and if I don't put it up, the cats won't get to eat because the dogs won't eat it all before they can. So um, <clears throat> I feed them on this countertop, and I, I don't do anything else on this countertop. It is strictly relegated just for the cats. And um, so... <laughs> my one cat will stand at the edge of the countertop and she will just stand in there and she will make this really loud going noise if she sees me moving she's just like if if i'm not moving she will just stand there and stare me down and once i start moving then the noises start and i'm like i can see food 
You know, it's like I will be standing in the doorway. She's maybe 10, the bowl is like maybe 10, 12 feet away from me. I'm like, I can see in it because it's a clear bowl. I'm like, I can see in it. There's still food in it. Why are you crying? Because, you know, the ball, food bowl is clear. The water bowl is clear. I'm like, I can see in them both. There is water in your water dish. There is food dish in your food in your food dish. There is food dish in your food dish. There is food in your food dish. And she's just looking at me like, I can see the bottom. Fill it. You know, and the minute I put more food in it to where you cannot see the bottom, she shuts right up. Not only that, she has to get a schnuzzle in. Which, with this this cat, a, a pet on the scratch on the ears does not work. She wants to rub her entire face all over the side of my face. So, if she doesn't get to schnuzzle me at least one day, once a day, she feels like she's being horribly abused. So, you know, and then I come away with cat fur sticking on the side of my face. I'm just like, I love my pets. So, <laughs> you know... I'm sitting in there checking the email and, and looking on the YouTube stuff. I glance something out of the corner of my eye, turn, and my youngest cat, who is solid black, he was a, a kitten from a feral litter, and um, that I, I've bottle fed him since he was tiny. And I turned and looked, because I was like, what on earth? Because I was like, no, that can't be right. So I turned and looked, and he's got both his front feet in the water dish, and he's just kind of you know, and doing something, and I'm just like, looking at him like, what on earth are you doing? Get out of the dish. He's just looking at me like, no, 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 I've got this. You know, I've, I, I've got something to do, and I'm just like, good Lord. You know, so, I don't know what he was doing, but he eventually did get out of the water dish, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. You know, I can't really complain about him putting his feet in the water dish, because the one cat, her name is Cersei, the one that likes to schnuzzle at least once a day, she hates to drink water out of the water dish with like regularly with her mouth. Her ideal way to drink water is to stick her paw in, then lick her paw, then stick her paw in, then lick her paw. And I'm just like, quit putting your foot in the water dish. She's just looking at me like, this is my system, you know. And I have five cats. So I've got Cersei, who is the snuzzler, and he wants to drink off her foot. I've got Obi who is the one from the feral litter. He is a polydactyl cat, so he's got like six toes. So he's got like um, six toes on his front feet. Um, <clears throat> and he is what I call my little monkey because he likes to shimmy up door jams. And and uh, so, yeah, and he is the funny, he's been doing this since he was tiny, tiny kitten. And he did it a lot more when he was little because I guess he was lighter, I don't know. But, um, he will just, he will shimmy up the door jam and he pulls himself with his front feet because his, um, he has four toes on one side and then he's got two on this other side and the two on this side actually act like a thumb. So he could actually grab on to the door jam and, um, so he was shimmy up door jams and his other hobby is just annoying the heck out of everybody. I keep telling my sister, if he keeps annoying the girls, then eventually there's not going to be anything left of him but a tuft of fur. Um, he is the youngest of the, of the entire house. He's, he's the youngest. He's all, he's about what, three years old, I think now. And, uh, and so he wants to play and he wants to rough house and the girls are all at least 10 years or more. And, um, so they're just like, nope, we're not playing. We want to nap, <laughs> you know? And so he, he just does not like to let them sleep and he's got, two in particular, one in particular, really, that he just loves to pick at and harass. And that's my, my tuxedo cat, Bootsy. She's the one that gets a lot of the Instagram pictures taken of her. And, um, so she gets a lot of the Instagram pictures <laughs> taken of her more so than anybody else. Cause the other ones don't like to get their pictures taken except for Obi. Obi likes to get his picture taken, but he is solid black. And so unless it is like really bright, which I don't keep my house really bright, it, um, it's impossible to see him. It's basically just like this little dark outline, outline and a blurb. And, um, so, you know, it's just kind of crazy, but, um, yeah, it's just weird. But so I can't really take pictures of him. So <clears throat> Bootsy gets the most pictures taken of her. Nebula gets pictures taken of her because honestly, they're always attached to my lap. <laughs> you know, I mean, Especially lately, it's gotten to the point where um, there's always one of them attached to me, 
Bootsy has even taken to following me to the bathroom. I, I put a little thing on my personal Facebook. I was like, it's like a parade every time I go to the bathroom. I get up, the one dog, Grace, starts barking her head off. Then my other little dog, Zipper, he gets going. And then Bootsy starts to, to stretch because she's like, okay, game on, we're going, we're moving. And it's, I've got this little parade of animals that follow me to the bathroom. They don't follow me to the kitchen. That's the weird part. They will not follow me to the kitchen. It's only to the bathroom. And they make their little line. Everybody has their little spots, you know? <laughs> and it's like, you know, one goes here, one goes here, one goes there. And it's like, oh, all righty then, you know? And uh, because I live in the country, I have little animals that like live under the house and like crawl spaces and stuff. And so my one big dog loves to come into the bathroom because she loves to like hunt things that are underneath the tub because she can hear them moving. And so she will spend the entire time halfway into the bathtub, actually more three fourths of the way into the bathtub because she will be there like, I can hear them moving. I can, I can hear them moving. And it's just like, good Lord, honey, stop it. And it's just like, give it a rest. You know, but she doesn't. She will not give it a rest. She just ends up in the bathtub all the time. And all you can see is a little tail from the doorway. And um, because she's just sitting there a little hunting for something that's underneath the tub and underneath the house. And I'm just like, you can't get to them anyway. I don't see what the point is. And she's just like, I'm going to get them. So I know, it's just insane lately. Because I can't sleep without anybody. I... I sleep with two cats on top of me, a dog at my feet, and a dog to my side. And it's like, you know, there is no getting up quickly in my house. Because it's like, quickly? What's quickly? There is no quickly in my house because you have to pry off the animals first. And I end up covered in little cuts because when I go to lift Bootsy up, she digs her claws. <laughs> She's just like, no, I was asleep. And I'm just like, no, I have to get up. So, you know. It's just, I don't know, it's boring at my house, but at the same time, it's kind of chaos. It's like a circus. So, so oh, cute. But yeah, so it's like, it's one of those things where you think, I don't know what I'd do without them, you know, <laughs> because it would be so darn quiet, you know, and, you know, what would I do without people following me around the house and, you know, these different things. So I'm just like. I love having her around the house because, you know, <clears throat> it keeps me from losing my mind. <laughs> Under the assumption that I haven't lost it already. I'm not entirely sure. They're, that one's kind of on the fence. Um, it really is. But anyway, so. I'm actually on my way to the 99 cent store. I don't remember why. I know there was something I had in my mind. Um, there was a reason. Um, and hopefully by the time I get to the 99 cent store, I won't remember what that reason was. <clears throat> I also know I need to swing by the other store. That's, it's a, it's a little store. Um, it is a, they're famous for their, their amount of jackpots that they've had with Lotto and stuff. And I've got like two scratch offs that I won a little bit on. And I say a little bit, I mean like one dollar each. So I want like two dollars. So I'll get two more scratch offs, you know. So, and that's that. So, but uh, I keep moving them from place to place in the car, and I'm like, you know, I need to go and just cash them in. And uh, I'm just feeling so blah today. I really am. I'm just feeling ugh. I just don't really want to do anything. My tummy's not. And I made the mistake today of getting chicken nuggets. And after having gone pretty much without any meat in my diet for so long, I got chicken nuggets and now I am sick. Oh my God, I feel terrible. I'm just like, okay, well, you know what? That serves you right. You know, <laughs> serves you right. You shouldn't have done it. And, uh, but it did. And, and I'm kind of stuck. So. <laughs> one of those things where it's like it's already done I can't undo it so you know <clears throat> just gonna have to kind of suffer with it and, you know <clears throat> move on from there 
so but yeah my tummy is not happy with me today because of that and it's funny how not eating any meat and then eating meat it is funny how it affects your stomach because I was like I haven't been having any issues because I had the weight loss surgery um, back in 2013 end of 2013 um, I had a gastric sleeve surgery so I've had to be very careful about what I eat and what I don't eat and it's funny that you know um, <clears throat> It's funny that, you know, so I'm trying to find a parking space. It's funny that, you know, certain stuff now makes me, makes me sick. Certain stuff doesn't. And, uh, and it's funny that, you know, after having, you know, cut back on my, um, my, uh, my meat products, it, it's really weird that, you know, to see how it affects your system because, you know, I've been doing really good. I, I haven't been getting sick from the foods I eat because I've been very cautious. You know, I, I eat little me meals here and there. So, you know, I've been, um, I've been very cautious about that. And it's like, <clears throat> so, you know, now to see, you know, how this works and that, you know, yeah, it's, I'm getting sick from just, you know, eating chicken nuggets and just a few. I didn't, I made eight like six. So, I don't know. It is weird. People everywhere. I'm waiting for a parking space. I don't like to do that, but my knee is killing me today. And I am not up to walking, so I want a close one. Apparently, they maybe they'll pull out. Oh, yeah, there. Slow. Very, very slowly. Very slowly. I mean, like, super slowly. <clears throat> so, yeah. I don't know. It is funny about how, that, you know. And, and I, I actually don't find myself missing meat you know and it's it's weird because I'm just like I was always you know I grew up in a hunting family so you know I was always used to like the eating the meat and different things stuff like that and I'm just like now I'm just like eh, I don't really miss it so I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing I guess it's a good thing so anyway I'm gonna go in here and do this and I will touch you a little bit